The two greatest empires from history have arrived, and one of them is the biggest country ball yet. And the other is the long-awaited Roman Empire ball. I've actually been waiting to make these for years. And of course, I had to do my first jumbo plush since the Mongolian Empire is the largest contiguous empire in history. Both of these two are just so legendary. And as always, head over to makeship.com to reserve yours today. They will be only sold for a limited time. I've had a lot of people complain that they've missed launches because maybe they were busy for a month and they didn't watch my channel and then they didn't see like a certain drop that I did in the background. For 2024, I'm going to try to always have at least two plushies selling pretty much throughout the entire year. If you think these are cool, just wait till you see the next ones. I think I've said this before, but at this point, I'm just designing these for myself and if people want them to, that's awesome. The Roman Empire. Founder of Western Civilization united the whole Mediterranean under the same flag and wiped out by hairy savages by 476, the Mongol Empire. The whitest empire Earth has ever seen is shattered in pieces shortly after the death of its founder in 1227, the Byzantine Empire. Era of both Greek and Latin cultures ruled the birthplace of civilization, definitely conquered by the Turks in 1453. Finally, San Marino? A poopy republic sitting on a rock and watching the sea all day, founded in 301, still alive today. How does that work? Little old San Marino here has literally outlived all of the greatest empires from history. Probably helps that they're like a micro state and all. They're able to draw a lot less attention to themselves. Oh no, is water, says the Mongolian Empire. He <laughs> he, says Vietnam. Oh no, is water again, says Mongolia. He <laughs> he, responds Japan now. Ha <laughs> I also have water. But it is snow. We surrender. Ah, that old H2O thing. It has so many forms, yet only one is actually the kryptonite to Mongolia. Mongolia can into water when it's cold enough. Oh no, says San Marino. Rome has fallen. WTF? I'm the Roman Empire. Let's go third row. But I have Constantinople. I'm the real Roman Empire. It's like the moment they died, everyone was just trying to be their long lost heir. I don't even think they mourned at all. The legacy of Rome is still going on. I haven't visited my sons in a long time. Let's go and see what they've done. Hey boys. What have y'all gotten into since I've been gone? Oh, look, it's all the Latin balls, Romania, Spain, Italy, Portugal, France. I've conquered half of South America and Central America, says Spain. I conquered all of Brazil and some of Africa, responds Portugal. I once conquered all of Europe, some of Africa, and all of Southeast Asia, says France. Um, we... Um, we... Haha, <laughs> Romania is the Mexico of Europe. Italy have Berlushkan. Berlushkan. The former Italian prime minister? Yeah, compared to Spain, Portugal, and France, I guess Romania and Italy haven't really done much. Although, to be fair, Italy they really tried during World War II. For compensate you, you need to know the Roman way. UN has told you me that Voss have you horrible art skills. De primo. Romans non drink as tea. Not the tea. Romans not speak barbarian. There is nothing wrong with the German. <laughs> Now, that is more like it. That's the one thing the Roman Empire can agree with. Splitting into two, and no one does that better than the Korean Peninsula. Especially because they've remained like this, and they're still going. Maybe the Koreans are the real successor to the Roman Empire. Super Mongolia of Report for Duty. The too many conflicts is no more the conflicts. The too many CO2 is no more CO2. The geography exam into too hard of please putting the bow down is no more into hard. But most importantly, the too much for I'm not gonna finish that sentence. But yes, many people can link their ancestry to the Mongolian invasions. But these are the comics that really inspired me to make sure that we have a jumbo plush for Mongolia here. It's had to be done. But I really love that he's always smiling while he's fixing these problems. Dear your holiness. Oh, this is coming from the note this guy's reading. I'm very sorry I'm not able to join in's fifth crusade. Am have heard the Holy Land is lovely this time of year. However, am having one minor problem. Oh, this is Georgia writing this note. Ah, I am of love relaxing hike through scenic mountains, says Mongolia. Ah, it was Mongolia that stopped Georgia from going to the Fifth Crusade. Bunch of party poopers. Obviously, Georgia at this time wasn't having the best experience back at home. Well, maybe they can join for the uh, Sixth Crusade or something. Oh, wait, they didn't join that one either. Read it and weep, losers. I made this best plan ever for the most peace, big success. USA, USA. Terrible plan. Entire river to the sea should be Palestine. I have nothing to say. It's not like this was my fault. I take moral high ground by call for peace without any useful or substance thing. <clears throat> Yo, have solution. Senor Andorra, read mine titles officiales, por favor. Uh, 
Si, senor. He's got the list already. King of Castile, Count of Barcelona, King of Aragon, King of Asturias, Prince of Dalmatia, King of Slovenia, King of Leon, Lord of Salins, Duke of Limburg, Holy Roman Emperor, Count of Tyrol, Master of Galicia, and... And... King of Jerusalem. I was not expect this. Oh, they're literally busting through the floor. Wait, when did Spain become King of Jerusalem? I don't remember reading that in history. Was this also labeled somewhere in that whole treaty between Spain and Portugal that they uh, got the Holy Lands? Nobody expects the Spanish King position. There is technically a long, long list of titles by the Spanish crown. Um, it's, it's a little bit much. This includes King of Cyprus, Duke of Luxembourg, and King of Hungary. In fact, the current King Philip VI visited Israel as the King of Spain and of Israel. And this monarchy technically has never renounced his claims for that land either, interestingly enough. Well, I guess we technically have a Spanish solution to that whole issue over there now. Japan, it is I, God. Oh, shit! I've recently finished binge-watching seven 72 hours worth of anime, and all I can say is, what the freak is wrong with you? It's time for your judgment. Earthquakes! Tsunami! Disrespectful foreign streamers! So guys, today I'm gonna flash my- Make sure you like and subscribe! And no women. I want a real man who is many rich and look like feminine K-pop star- Have you had enough yet? Have you learned the errors of your ways? No, this is you. Is that how you pronounce that? This. 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 Why does Google give the Japanese uh, AI voice like an anime type of voice? No, just... Okay, we'll try this again in like another 12 to 15 years. 12 to 15 years more of God watching anime? Are we sure about that? Gonna come back with even more of a vengeance. Funny enough, these tsunamis used to help Japan. Now, not so much anymore. Specifically against the uh, Mongol Empire, of course. Welcome back to So You Think You Can Mongol. Japan just showed great effort in Arrow Round. Now it's China's turn. What amazing shot is going to judges for reviews. Amazing, accurate as needle in child's hand. Excellent form. Not quite target direct, but good enough. Great showings this week. Tune again next week when we return with mounting and shooting. Man, I love the So You Think You Can Mongolia show. It's like Ninja Warrior kind of, but for Mongolia, obviously. I still don't think people fully comprehend just how difficult it is to ride a horse and accurately shoot a bow. That was literally insane. Like, no wonder they took over half the world. Wow, sure is good day to be Rome, says Byzantium. I'm going watch chariot race in hypodrome and then maybe pray in great hug of sorrow you know. hmm what is shadow cause you is dead now m new new rome says turkey or oh, i think it's the ottomans non vos is not am so am conquest like caesar and because islam is successor to christian am the theological successor to rome too see am rome <laughs> 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 Why not? You cannot into Ottoman because you is stinky. Not noble Christian like Byzantium. Am Rome. Am will prove it. And I guess it was that fire that helped the Ottomans take over so much. Now it makes sense. Not only did they spread pretty far, but they also lasted like five or six centuries. This is explains why even they too claim to be the successor to the Roman Empire. Angul have memory to strong empire once ago. <laughs> Oh no. Please help the ouch. Is that supposed to be the Soviet Union? Yes, though Mongolia did have one of, if not the greatest empires of all time, they are now just currently trapped in between the major powers of just Russia and China. They don't even technically touch Kazakhstan over here. Maybe that's the only way they can keep this great nation at bay. One of my favorite facts about the current Mongolia, though, is that they do have exactly one boat in their navy. It's literally the second largest landlocked nation on Earth. It has the smallest navy in the world. Then again, Mongolia has never been known for their navy naval conquests, uh, right, guys. Like I said earlier, just ask Japan. Ooh, look, it's the Roman Kingdom. This is a tease. The Roman Republic, that's the pilot. The Roman Empire, the award-winning series. The Byzantium Empire, which is the tear-jerking finale. There's the Holy Roman Empire, which is a non-canon comic continuation. There's the Ottoman Empire, a spin-off series about the villain. <laughs> like the wolf howling, it's like their origin story. The Russian Empire, which is a good fan movie. There's the Kingdom of Italy, could this be a teaser for something greater? Oh, no, that's, that's just fascist Italy. Again, one of the reasons why the nation of Italy is Rome's least favorite son. Or at least definitely the most disappointing. Kind of a hard thing to follow them up, the original TV series. How to die. Roman edition. The Roman Empire, fight the Germanic tribes until you die. Byzantium Empire, fight the Ottoman Empire until you die. The Holy Roman Empire, just give up. I die now. <laughs> 
literally no reason. They didn't really have an excuse. They're just like, yeah, I think we're done here. I was waiting for the extended version of this comic, except with the Ottomans, you know, because they claim to be the Roman Empire too. Team up with literally your greatest rival throughout history and both die together. I'm referring to World War One when the Ottomans allied to Austria-Hungary and then they both dissolved. That was a crazy twist. 476 BC, we, we are, are the successors, successors of the, of the Roman, Roman Empire. Empire and me too. <laughs> I am just into disappointed, says the Romes. Romes? Ro the Romans? There's just so many comics about this, like you can't even escape this stuff. Poor little guys. My friend, might into safe place to stay? I can join army and help you. Barbarious. Um, I assume it's Latin for ya. Yeah. Hon hon. I have my equipment, no way I can lose now. I don't think the Romans here like them very much. Who is Das Dias? And why is he so popular? Oh, the barbarians getting religious? De Peter is superior to to Philosophers. Well, okay, if you say so. Hello, I'm looking for a place for Barbarious. Oh, now the original ones have been, ooh. This is basically how Germany ended up becoming the Roman Empire when they were the barbarians originally, that the Roman Empire was originally trying to destroy. Kind of weird how that whole thing just flipped. They literally just kind of stabbed themselves. Just they walked right into it. What else did they expect? I like how I started this video trying to show how the greatest empires of all time are great. Yeah, most of the stuff is just talking about their downfalls. <laughs> Again, you can get the Mongolian Empire Mega Plush and the Roman Empire over on makeshift.com in the description down below. They, of course, will only be here for a limited time. Big thanks to my patrons. You can find a link in the description down below to support me. The beautiful Megan Underwood. Drum your dad back with the milk. Look outside. A fat I normal. cannot sleep without Jack Drew's Draven's voice. No Amateur friend. archaeology. Caramel Dibbling, Inquisitor Joey, Zerius, John Denver. Carino is Luxembourg best lover. Sebi, if you hear Robert this, e. I love Tambrin, you. The Great the Mexican 760. And Zany Boy.